Hi guys, this is NikitaNet and what we're going to do in this video, what I'm going to do at least, is replace the hard drive in this Lenovo B590 laptop. The reason is that basically the update process on a reverted image, so a factory restore, doesn't work. You can't update this machine and there was a decision made to install Linux on it. So I'll go more in depth in regards to the problem with this Lenovo B590 laptop in a different video. This video is about installing the Transcendent SSD 370S. This nice SSD with a metal case. Uh, the silver edition has a net metal case at least from my supplier, which is nice. But to start with this process, realize something. If you do this yourself, you have to be competent and, of course, huh, know what to do and stay safe. So, disclaimer, said, spoken. Huh? You are responsible for your own safety and for others, well, the safety of others around you. You have been warned. So, what I do is disconnect the laptop in all senses, so that there are no cables attached. The laptop is shut down. And let me see, where is my little... Ah, I've got a microfiber, well, towelet or how should I call this? Rag, it ain't a rag, but you know, it's a small size. Too small for this keyboard, but it should help at least a little bit to protect the screen from pressure that builds up when you're doing this job and indenting with the keys. So let's see, I'll do it like this. I would have liked a bigger one, but hey. Now I've put down some uh, disposable uh, wipes, rags, not moist towelettes, but dry stuff that's soft and nice because I'm going to flip over the laptop and remove its battery. And these rags are here to protect the finish of the laptop. So, I'm looking at this and I'm seeing that this latch here is already undone. Okay, that shouldn't be the case, but it was. And I'm going to use this latch, that's a little bit of a springy clip, to uh, undo the battery and remove it completely. Now, all laptops come apart differently, but there's a general sense in what should be done. I have never done this on this specific model, but we'll model through. Now, once again, if you're not competent or not sure of yourself, go to your IT professional and get them to replace a well, hard drive or something like that. So, I'm using gloves to protect the components. I've got oily skin, but also from static electricity, at least in some sense. Ground yourself normally. So the next step is different for every type of laptop. Um, I'm ensuring once again that it's completely disconnected and the battery is removed from the unit. Um, and looking at this, there are just two screws to go into the main compartment where the laptop hard drive should be located. I'm looking at the screw and feeling with my, uh, well, screwdriver. And I'm thinking this one is a little bit too big, but let's see. They're almost identical in size. You do need to have a properly conforming screwdriver, and this one is bigger. So I'm going to use this one with a slight pressure on the screw. I'm undoing it and it's undone. I'm placing it right here where I can see it and remember its position. And the second one is undone. That's very nice. Now there are two indicators that I should pull, which is funny. Okay. Okay, nope, and what I'm going to do, you shouldn't, huh? Boy, that's not good, aha, uh -huh. look, a scratch, 
and you might not be able to see it but that's what I've just done with this screwdriver. This plastic, well most plastic is very uh, scratchable so not resistant to scratches. This isn't good, it's okay though, it's on the bottom thankfully. But I'm still going to tell the owner that I did that. But here we are. The laptop hard drive is located here. Once again checking that the battery is removed. Um, I'm looking at this. There is once again an indicator. Looking at this you can see the contacts. So it's hold in place like this. The connector it plugs into is solidly attached. Sometimes they're flex cables or at least flexible uh, cables right after the connector. Is there uh, a retention mechanism? There is. And let's get the screwdriver back. And let's see. This is a fiddly bit. Let's see, can I put pressure on that a little bit? No, not too much. It is coming undone. That's good. Hmm. Ah, there's a screw right here. So, let's undo that first. Ah, yeah, there's pressure on it because of course I've already undone it a little bit. So, putting this screw right over here, knowing that it goes into that screw hole. I'm going to... Aha! And it's undone. And it's in its own little caddy, which is nice. Great. Now checking the size. That will fit most likely very nicely with screw hole compatibility. Very likely. Now also checking the orientation. I'm putting it down like this. Uh, work smarter is the key. I'm going to undo these caddy screws. Now where can I place them without losing them? I'm going to do it right here on the edge of the table which is a very very uncomfortable because you might lose them. Mm -hmm. Great. And the last one. And I'm holding the hard drive in place. And taking stock at the meantime of the general state of the rest of the laptop. And once again, I'm taking stock of how it is orientated, letting this old drive go out and putting right away the new drive in the caddy. It's a little bit of a flexible thing but that's fine. I just noticed that I'll have to air dust the ventilator a little bit being very careful not to damage it because these are very fragile. Now there is some Loctite type of stuff on these uh, screws so that's well nice handy. Aye. And with gloves, grabbing these types of very, very small screws is almost impossible. So let's put this down, place the screw properly onto the screwdriver. And uh, first, when inserting it, I turn a little bit back until I hear a click. And the reason for that is then I know that the frets will engage when I clockwise tighten it, well at least with this, these screws, as is the case on most laptops but not all devices. So here is the next screw. Hello. Okay I didn't hear a click and that's not good. There's the click. And I'm feeling when screwing it in that there is some type of Loctite on there. And that's fine, but don't mistake the feeling of a plastic key substance that holds the screw in place with 
cross threading, you can do that. So, here you go. Not hearing. Okay. Well, that's funny. I didn't hear a click. So, I'm guessing this will be the last one, but I'm noticing... Yes, there's a little slight of a misalignment here. So I'll have to undo these a little bit. And this is a finicky jaw bin itself. That's normal. Huh. It's all mass produced. Yeah. Okay. The last screw. And that will fit much nicer this way. And I'm going to hand insert it. Even though I'm wearing gloves. Also be careful that you don't lose a screw by dropping it. Almost happened to me here. Because you know, you can get a screw loose inside of these things very easily. Try to get it out. Maybe you have to entirely disassemble it. Disassemble it. So. Yes, this is a tricky one. And if it doesn't go in, undo it, completely even, and try again. But these screws are a little bit finicky. And of course this is a new drive, so the threads are new. And now... That's not good. A slipping screwdriver. This should be okay, but I'm going to gently cross pattern check it to make sure I have tightened, tightened them enough. This feels good. This feels nice. Wonderful. Now to reinsert the caddy. Hello. And Plug it in. Hmm. That's interesting. The contacts don't make perfect contact. Let's see. Do they make contact enough is the question. <coughs> uh-huh. Well, even with this drive, that's a little bit of a problem. Interesting. Okay, the margins of design or the tolerances aren't perfect with this Lenovo. Apparently. Oh well. So, let's put it in, close it up, and uh, reinsert the small screw right here. And this is a very small screw, so I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it. Slowly turning it in, and that should be good. Now, off camera, I'll dust this ventilator, so I'll be right back. So, with the computer, CPU, and cooler dusted, and also these air holes cleaned out with canned air, um, I'm very content. I also dusted this general area lightly and I'm making note of the memory that's installed. There's one module installed and a potential upgrade or upsell if your computer repair salesman is a second identical or almost identical or even two new memory modules which will boost the performance even beyond the boost it's getting with an SSD over an HDD. Right? So let's uh oh Dust this very quickly. Forgot about that part. And I can be a little bit rougher with, you know, the top cover. But let's reinstall this. 
and it goes on very simply and slides right back in where it belongs. So, once again I scratched the panel, so I'm going to mention that to the owner. And uh, hopefully they're not mad, they shouldn't be. Because of course they'll be happy, or most likely won't be, because they're happy with the upgrade I'm providing them. So, once again, tight but not over tight. And the second one. And tight but not over tight, double checking, and normally there are a, a number of these, but this is a push on and pull off design, that's nice. Always tighten screws in the cross pattern, just so you know. That evens the pressure, generally, on the component. Now, let's see. This feels properly, it sounds good, so that's nice. Now I'm going to reinsert the battery after dusting it lightly. And that little compartment as well. So, locking the battery in place, turning the laptop over, and let's well, remove this and opening it up and as you can see this is still in place because of course it should be now, this is a special cloth and I'm wiping just the dust away it's a little bit annoying to see even though I have it on my screens now if I remember correctly it's the escape key F1 or delete for the BIOS on this Lenovo. So let's test them out all. So let's start it up and go to the boot menu because the BIOS didn't show exactly what type of hard drive was installed, which is wondrous to me because normally that information is given in your BIOS. But I'm seeing here. ETA HDD1 TS128G SSD370S. So, what is the conclusion? It's, well, detected. And I'm seeing that the first boot option is the Windows Boot Manager. Ouch. Oh well, that'll be gone, or at least non functioning very quickly after this video. Because I'm installing. For your information, uh, a Ubuntu Direct Distribution version 15.10. And I'm going in via the install from the server edition, well, the server ISO, because then I can configure things on the command line more easily before installing the graphical user interface for the end user. So, I hope you found this video interesting. Like, dislike at your pleasure, of course. Now, do note that if you're uncomfortable with doing a procedure like this, don't do it. Go to your IT professional. Always be sure of your safety and that of others around you. That's your own responsibility, of course. But, um, well, like, dislike this video, subscribe to the channel. And uh, this is Nikita Nat saying, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.